Law Warrior Online Vehicles, GAL-100 Galleon Light Tank. Overview. Several different firms produced light armor support vehicles for the Star League. One of the more popular combat systems was the GAL-100 Galleon Light Tank. Produced mostly on planets within the boundaries of the Free Worlds League, it was an inexpensive means of providing both infantry and battle mechs with support on the battlefield. In the battles at Aus Stefan Amaris, the Galleon served remarkably well. Many of these light tanks served in garrisons on the scattered worlds of the periphery until the departure of General Kerensky. Thus, many Galleons ended up in the hands of House Marek and House Curita. Capabilities The Galleon is a small, fast-moving, lightly armoured vehicle. In an era when many arms manufacturers were designing hovercraft systems, Brooks Incorporated stayed with tracked vehicle designs, believing that demand would last far into the future. With a maximum speed of over 73 km per hour, this small tank can outrun most mechs. Its weapon systems are fairly strong, and its only weakness is its lack of armour. GAL-100 Galleon supports three main weapons, all of which were manufactured by Jackson Armaments, a subsidiary of Brooks Incorporated. The Jackson Model 17 medium laser is not the best system of its class, as several support coils have a tendency to overheat. The Star League fell before any modifications to the coil systems could be made, however. The two smaller Jackson Model 12s, which are mounted on the side of the tank, have a better combat reputation. Although the tank lacks a smaller infantry fire support system, the Model 12 does provide some strong anti-mech support. The main weakness of the GAL-100 Galleon is its minimal 3.5 tonne of protective armour. Although this doesn't make the Galleon a very safe tank in combat, its lightweight adds to its speed and range. The 1.5 tonne fuel capacity and the efficiency of the 180 GTEM internal combustion engine makes it a popular vehicle with the armies of the successor states. Battle History during the Battle of Sounders Peak on the planet Kobe, Steiner units learned the usefulness of these light tanks in combat. While pinned in the lowlands of the Sounder mountain range, the Curita raiding party sent forth several crack platoons of galleons supported by several light recon mech lancers. The mobility and efficiency of these systems against mechs surprised both sides. House Curita were able to prolong their campaign for Kobe for several months and help their comrades by keeping Commonwealth troops away from other Draconis advances. House Marek first used the Galleon in 2910 on the planet Zeon. On that small desert world, a strong band of loud defenders were holding their own in a mountain area known as Gapston. House Marek launched a multi-pronged attack on the area, using several companies of elite battle mechs and full infantry support, including eight platoons of Galleon tanks. The combine mechs fought hard, but were tied down by long-tom fire from the Lao fortifications. The defenders didn't consider the Galleons a threat, and so the tanks advanced to the fortification, where they engaged the enemy. Although they were fighting superior forces and taking massive losses, the Galleons breached the walled fortress and knocked out several of the long tom systems, allowing the Curita mechs to finish the job. Though historians generally concentrate on the bravery of the mech warriors in battle, it was actually the fighting of the Galleon that won the day. House Davian also maintained a fairly large number of Galleons, but they were rarely massed in any quantity for fighting purposes. However, in the battle for Ludwig in 2955, a large military convoy for the Federated Sons was attacked by wasps and locusts from the Draconis Combine. Defending the convoy were two platoons of galleons. The Curita raiders found themselves fighting ground tanks with the same weight classification and weaponry. While the mechs were able to launch several death from above style attacks, those weren't enough to stall the firepower of the galleons. Although most of the convoy was destroyed, so was most of the raiding party. Recently, other combat units have begun using forces containing galleon light tanks. Wolf's Dragoons, the largest and best-known mercenary unit in the Innisphere, has recently put together a light mobile platoon using the Galleon as its main fire support craft. Also, Little Richard's Panzer Brigade has also begun to use Galleons. House Lau is the only one that has not shown any interest in the GAL-100. Variants Currently, the only variant of the GAL-100 Galleon is in the service of House Curita. The GAL-200 replaces the 100's twin small jacks and lasers with machine guns, using the reduced weight to add more armour. Only a handful of these have been in use, and several of those have fallen into the hands of House Steiner. Notable Vehicles and Pilots Private Schumann Wax Schumann is a galleon crew member for the Draconis Combine's 1089th Light Armoured Support Group. 
His galleon is called Doris, after his long-dead sister, a highly esteemed mech warrior who was killed in the battles for Alexandria. The Doris has been nearly destroyed several times, and has been even pounced upon by many mechs. Schumann himself has lost his arm in combat, but he still remains true to his vehicle, and to the Combine. Lieutenant Harley Thomas Harley is the gunnery officer on a GAL-100, serving Davian's 5000th Mobile Tank Support Unit. The unit has a strong reputation, having served in the Relief Force on Kentare's Fall many years ago. Thomas's father commanded the unit then, and Harley still holds the family title and command. He has a very high record of tank and mech kills, being responsible for the destruction of over 10 battle mechs and 20 tanks. His galleon is in perfect condition, as it receives the best in repair supplies from a grateful House Davian. Uh, also, as a little aside there, there's a, there's a neat little um, issue with the print. Uh, if you remember during the battle history section here, there was actually a mention of House Marek fighting on uh, the planet Xeon, and how it mentions Marek uh, sending the Galleons to attack the Lao fort fortifications, but it says when they breached the walls, um, they breached the walls and knocked out several long toms, allowing the Curita mechs to finish the job. Uh, obviously, the original writer meant to put Marek, who must have had a Curita on the mind. So, uh, there you go. That's just uh, me reading it verbatim, and uh, yeah, weird little uh, things to get through, uh, you know, proofreading, huh? Anyway, thanks for, thanks for listening, watching, listening. Bye.